Welcome to another series of F5 Distributed Cloud. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how you can leverage F5 Distributed Cloud to solve your multi-cluster, multi-cloud networking for Kubernetes. This is a two-part architecture patterns series, where part one, I will focus on the why, such as why organization distribute their Kubernetes cluster, what challenges with this type of architecture, and how F5 Distributed Cloud Mesh able to help to address those challenges. In part two, I will focus on the deployment guide and how you can make this architecture pattern into reality with configuration steps to build the environment. Please refer to separate demo videos for part two. Applications are part of our daily life. Indeed, it is part of our daily necessity. We use apps for digital wallet, check weather, navigations, online shoppings, and so on. We interact with it every minutes or perhaps seconds. Application itself also transforming and evolving from simple static apps to complex, highly interactive over time. Complexity increases with the proliferation of various application framework, cloud and edge computing, distributed apps, microservices, chat GPT, and so on. According to F5 State of Application Strategy 2022, the application landscape keeps changing and most organizations manage 200 to 1,000 apps, and 26% of app security and delivery technologies are distributed and deployed at the edge for efficiency outcomes. Let's rewind back maybe 20 years back or perhaps back to year 2000 during the dot-com boom. Applications are relatively simple at the time. Network communication between hosts are simple, straightforward, and easy to understand. Attack vector relatively non-sophisticated and attack vectors are limited. Over time, application complexity built up until it has become an operational burden, an essential threat to business success. Organization applications are constantly being transformed from traditional monolithic to modern microservices. Kubernetes platforms such as F5 Distributed Cloud AppStack, OpenShift Container Platform, Amazon EKS, Azure AKS, Google GK, and so on, is one of the key enablers for modern microservices applications, which itself an important component of organization digital transformation strategy. The importance of Kubernetes similarly to how important an operating system to a server back in those days. Every application runs on a server that powered by an operating system and each of these operating systems communicate with each other via networking. Today, with digital economy, majority of modern applications being powered by the Kubernetes, and each of these applications reside on Kubernetes need to communicate with each other. F5 Distributed Cloud Mesh essentially simplified your Kubernetes connectivity and security. It made it ridiculously simple to manage, operate, and protect your critical asset. First, Let's understand why organizations require distributed Kubernetes cluster. Obviously, it is not because it is cool or fun. It addresses real business and IT requirement. Here are some of those common reasons we heard from our customers. Regulatory requirements such as GDPR, PCI DSS, HIPAA, or etc. that require certain components of the apps to be hosted in country or on a specific control environment such as DMZ zone, cloud trusted and highly trusted zone. Segregations of concern and application segmentation. Certain functions within the overall application ecosystem need to be managed by different team. Component of an app may be managed and operated by different departments within the same organization. For example, as part of a merger and acquisitions or line of business. Hence, it is required cluster to be managed independently, yet need to be integrated. Application performance and optimization where web front-end required to be located closer to user or at the edge, where database located in data center. Enterprises that located in different countries or multiple data center or cloud and could not run apps on a single central Kubernetes cluster. Application could be part of the cloud migration journey from on-prem to the cloud. Cost saving with dedicated optimized compute for different use cases, for example, clusters that require faster CPU or GPU, run resources intensive apps and some normal application on a generic cluster. Risk management. Distributed application availability risk to different cluster, 
rather than centralized in a single centralized cluster. It makes management of each individual cluster easier to manage compared to managing a centralized massive Kubernetes cluster with a single control plane. All those reasons to use distributed Kubernetes cluster bring multiple challenges to organization. Here are some common challenges that shared by our customer. Security is paramount to any organization. How to ensure confidentiality, integrity, and availability of application with distributed Kubernetes cluster? How to ensure communications between those clusters are secure? And what security control can be easily implemented without complex and pushback from application owner? With the distributed cloud, hence distributed application, how to ensure adequate adequate visibility of those applications like security, response time, error rate, and so on. Which microservices talking to which and are there any unknown or unauthorized communications? How well and what are the threats landscape? It is not a trivial task to set up the networking between all those clusters. Complex firewalls, rules, and routing may need to be provisioned. How to ensure resiliency of those applications? If I have an application in one cluster fail, how to ensure it seamlessly fail over to the other cluster? Due to many clusters and complex networking, it causes a high total cost of ownership. Complexities of the environment causes high operational costs. Because it is complex, often than not, organization lack of skills worker to manage, operate and secure those environments. It is a war of talent among enterprises. How FI District Cloud can help? FI District Cloud Mesh, or Cloud Mesh for short, secure by default. It established encrypted tunnel between cluster for inter-cluster communications for applications. It provides end-to-end -end encryptions from apps to apps without complex setup. It is a software-defined multi-cloud networking for Kubernetes. Cloud Mesh also provides end-to-end visibility of your application. It able to learn and discover your application API calls via machine learning, performance metrics between apps, and provide application threat intelligence between cluster or to cluster. Cloud Mesh simplified your complex networking between cluster. As mentioned, it is a software-defined multi-cluster, multi-cloud networking for Kubernetes. Once Cloud Mesh is in position, it, it allows you to set up site mesh in minutes. As a result, it is easy to understand and visualize. It reduces operational burden. Cloud Mesh helps to provide application high resiliency across cluster. You can enable your application to run on an active active or active backup across different cluster and provide seamless failover. Cloud Mesh is the enabler for your workload isolation strategy. It easily connects your heterogeneous Kubernetes cluster across different environments or cloud regardless of locations. Application security is a native capabilities of Cloud Mesh. You can easily enable web application and API protection to protect your workload. It is the feature-rich application security that greatly uplift your application security posture. You hear what F5 Distributed Cloud Mesh can do and what outcomes it brings to your multi-cloud, multi-cluster networking for Kubernetes. Let's understand what is Cloud Mesh and what are those possible architecture patterns. This is a high-level overview of F5 Distributed Cloud Mesh. It connects, secure, and deliver application deployed across multiple clouds and each site. Kubernetes cluster is one of those sites. Distributed Cloud Mesh unique distributed proxy-based and zero trust architecture significantly improve security by providing application access without network entry across clusters and sites. Using F5 global network backbones, it delivers deterministic, reliable, and secure connectivity across multiple clouds, each sites, and to and from the internet. Cloud Mesh is a SaaS based service that minimizes the complexity of managing and operating multiple services deployed within a single cloud or across multiple clouds or edge sites. Customers don't have to worry about managing the life cycle of the infrastructure or services that run on it. Cloud Mesh is a software that can be deployed on bare metal, virtual machine, as a Kubernetes port, or cloud services provider environment. 
to incorporate Cloud Mesh into your Kubernetes ecosystem, there are few architecture patterns that you can leverage on. The first patterns introduced here is Cloud Mesh as port. You can deploy Cloud Mesh as a standard Kubernetes port inside your Kubernetes cluster, such as OCP, EKS, AKS, and GKE. We call this type of site Kubernetes site, or also known as CE site on Kubernetes. By default, when you spin up a Cloud Mesh port, it will auto register to the nearest F5 Digital Cloud Regional Edge for control plane and management plane. This encrypted dual tunnel can be used by Cloud Mesh port to mesh application across Kubernetes cluster. Cloud Mesh port also can be set up to establish encrypted tunnel between each Kubernetes cluster by creating a site mesh group as shown here. This site mesh group, which is full mesh, forms a secure application mesh fabric, which uses as the data plane path. It is an overlay network that connects all Cloud Mesh or Kubernetes cluster together. Applications in each cluster can connect with, with each other via this secure encrypted networking fabric. Application reside on this fabric is default denied, means that they can't talk to each other unless explicitly permitted. Administrator needs to create services, rules, and security policy to enable cross-cluster communication. Local Cloud Mesh port can perform automatic service discovery of ports within cluster. These capabilities enable Cloud Mesh port to discover local service endpoint and make it available to be consumed within or across cluster. Automatic service discovery is important since services can be moved, scaled out, or published independently and in an automated way without coordinating with the proxy configuration. Security controls such as web application and API protection, bot defense, service policy, and so on can be implemented on this mesh fabric. Visibility and observability such as security posture, performance metrics, service mesh graph, connectivity graph, logs, and so on are collected and displayed in the F5 SAS console. There are pros and cons for this architecture pattern. This pattern is potentially suitable for DevSecOps where management and lifecycle of Cloud Mesh port within the developer and security team. Please refer to documentation for further details on those pros and cons of this pattern. If Cloud Mesh as port doesn't meet your requirement, you can deploy Cloud Mesh as Node. What it means is you deploy Cloud Mesh as a virtual machine or bare metal that sits outside your Kubernetes cluster. It acts as a secure Kubernetes ingress gateway to the application resides inside your Kubernetes cluster. Cloud Mesh Node will perform service discovery via Kubernetes Cube API to monitor port's lifecycle. You will require to create a service account to be loaded onto Cloud Mesh so that it's able to perform service discovery to the Cube API. Similar with Architecture Pattern 1, secure application mesh fabric will be established among those Cloud Mesh nodes. All the security capabilities within Pattern 1 will be similar with this pattern. In this pattern, you can leverage Cloud Mesh node as an egress gateway. This pattern potentially suitable for NetSecOps or NetOps, where management and lifecycle of Mesh node within the NetApp NetOps team. Please refer to documentations for further details on those pros and cons. What if you want to get the best of both patterns? With Architecture Pattern 3, you can deploy it as a hybrid pattern where Cloud Mesh runs combinations of ports and nodes. These architectures inherit both the benefit from Pattern 1 and Pattern 2. Regardless of which patterns, F5 Distributed Cloud Services, such as Web Application and API Protection, API Discovery, Bot Defense, Service Discovery, and so on, can be consumed regardless of patterns deployed. In Part 2, I will go through the process to build a hybrid patterns. This is just a quick preview of the environment we are going to set up in part two. A sample financial application which consists of multiple microservices distributed across multiple OpenShift cluster. Cloud Mesh will be deployed as a port as well as node. Or OCP will form a secure application mesh fabric. Please look out for video on part two. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to reach out if you need a deep dive session. Thank you.